Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Watkins here. Uh, because of the delays we've had in getting open, thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a tour of our food truck today. We got a couple of issues taken care of and then came up on another. It looks like it's probably going to be Monday before we open on a full schedule. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour and show you where we're going to be cooking, where your food's going to be coming from. This is the back side of the truck. We're parked in my garage today where we've been working on it. Uh, got a nice logo done. Honey Pelletier, my go-to graphic designer over in Jonesboro, did this logo that I love. Uh, we wanted to incorporate our newfound citizenship in Tennessee, which we're so proud of. You can see the outline of Tennessee, the three stars that symbolize the flag. And we also wanted to recognize how proud we are to be part of the Real Foot community. So this is the backside. Go around the end here. We're powered two ways. We run off this generator or we can run off an RV hookup. I'm um, excited to get hooked up to an RV, a meter and an RV hookup because it's so much quieter. Back door, we'll come out that in a minute. Our water tanks fresh water, gray water. Then we come around to the serving side. Got the same logo over here, a little bit smaller. This is our serving window where Miss Dana will be serving you or whoever's on duty that day while I'm back there slaving in a hot kitchen. I tell you guys, I have a whole new appreciation for uh, UPS, FedEx drivers driving. <laughs> That's what this is. It's a, it's a truck that size. You do not want to be driving this thing on the open road in a crosswind. It is all over the road. So I'll come up into the driving area. Y'all pardon me while I use my bum knee to try to climb up in here. Oh, it's terrible getting old. So here's Transportation Central. One seater. If I ever get a sous chef, I don't know where he or she would sit as we travel, but I hope not to have to travel too much back and forth. This is a rig to drive, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I do not enjoy it. I drove it all the way. We bought it in Sparta, Illinois. I drove it four hours home a couple of weeks ago, and it was a wild ride. So coming to the kitchen, we got, uh, I don't know what you call these things, but you part the way to get in. I'm going to go down one side and down the other. Here's kind of an overview of the kitchen. I love stainless steel. It's easy to clean. It looks good. So you see a lot of stainless in here. We'll just kind of walk down. I've got some shelving in here. It's actually a pretty good roomy truck. Uh, two people can work in here pretty easily. So I love the space. We're now trying to, as we wait for opening, I'm actually waiting on a plumber. I'll tell you about that in a minute. A plumbing issue is our last issue to get started. Anyway, uh, lemonade and tea dispensers. Those are gonna be our two main drinks. We will serve soft drinks out of a can. Uh, if you don't want just lemonade or tea, I'll be happy to serve you an Arnold Palmer, which is one of my favorite summer drinks. Just a few supplies up here as we begin to stock. I'm placing hooks below all these shelves to uh, hang cooking tools. This unit right here is probably one of my favorite, it may be my favorite thing in the truck. It is a refrigeration unit that in the top, has all these compartments for condiments. I learned with the health department inspector this morning, we were to keep this at 40 degrees. Underneath is refrigeration storage on both sides. And the coolest thing about this refrigeration unit is this marble slab along the top, which is also cooled by the refrigeration unit. So if you're preparing cold sandwiches with meats or cheeses or 
uh, container of potato salad or whatever, you set it right down on the marble slab, it stays cool. I love that. This is our coffee pot. I actually fired this baby up for the first time this morning, and you know, I think that may be the first time I've ever drank coffee out of a percolator. And I'd always heard that coffee was better out of a percolator, and I believe it's true. This baby will fix 50 cups at a time. Got our stainless uh, shelving here. You'll see a lot of crock pots in here over time to keep food warm and cook various things in. Wanted to show these off. Uh, bought these knives and apple core, garlic press, scoop. Bought those at a Pampered Chef party hosted by my Atlanta friend, Joe Michaels. Hey, Joe, I hope you're watching. Uh, love these knives. If you ever have a Pampered Chef party, I'm a great person to invite. I'm always gonna buy something. Salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to experiment with cheeseburgers on this. Uh, basically, it's a George, I call it a George Foreman grill. I've got a, a Blackstone griddle that we might change to, but for now we're gonna try it with this. Food warmer. I put three compartments in here, keep food warm. We've got a conventional uh, stove top with oven. Love these things, picked them up at uh, Jackson Restaurant Supply to make the perfect pancakes. Then a hood, timer there on my vent hood. Even have an air conditioner, which I know is gonna come in handy here in Tennessee in just a matter of a few weeks. Four bin sink. We've been sanitizing uh, all morning, this is actually not Windex. I've learned how to make my own sanitizer in case you ever want to do that. The ratio is one third cup of chlorine bleach to a gallon of water and that sanitizes and kills the germs. More hanging, more shelving. Here's our serving window from behind. On opening day, we are going to offer loyalty cards where on your 11th purchase, you get a free meal. Yes, we do accept tips. Looks pretty empty right now. Our clock. This was actually in here when we bought the truck and this reminds me so, I'm so glad it's here and I wanted to keep it here. Reminds me of a scene in one of my favorite movies, Castaway. Remember that movie uh, early on in the movie? where they're in Russia and he's teaching some of these Russian FedEx employees uh, how to make the switch between one truck to another. And he talks about time and he says, we live or we die by time. We never commit the sin of turning our backs on time. And while the hospitality industry and food preparation is so, you know, first and foremost about good food, right? I'm learning that it's also about time management. Uh, time is very important. Getting the order to customers in a timely manner where they're happy. Flipping between breakfast and lunch, it's, it's, there's so much about time management. So in this truck, we will never commit the sin of turning our back on time. Our guest checks. Here's where an order goes when it's placed. Love this little uh, vintage microwave. Saw that on Amazon, couldn't resist it. Another corner with tools. A few of my favorite spices. We will have a chest type freezer that goes in this corner right here for ice, ice cream, that kind of thing. We may actually serve shaved ice out of here this summer, I don't know. That's TBD. Anyway guys, this is the behind the scenes look at the kitchen at Steve's Gourmet to Go. Looks like we're probably gonna open on Monday now and I can't wait to see you guys. I hope you'll come out and see us. We're so excited to serve you and get this thing cooking. See you next time.